just on the implications of Mr Albanese having COVID. One of the challenges he faces and that you face is he's largely unknown with voters. We see that in poll after poll. How damaging is it therefore that he's going to spend the next week in his home in Sydney and unable to crisscross the country I'll come back interacting with voters? Yeah. Look, I think the real problem is that Australians know Scott Morrison too well. They know he abandoned them during the bushfires. They know that he failed them by not buying enough vaccines when we were stuck at home, when half the country was stuck at home last year. They know that he failed them during the floods when people were stuck on their own roofs waiting for helicopters. They know that this government has deliberately kept their wages low for a decade. They know that this government has rorted taxpayers' money for their own benefit. They know that Scott Morrison's own party call him a liar. And they know that this government has no real plans for the future other than trying to drag themselves across the line on May 21st. That's Scott Morrison's problem. Mark. Get Australians to elect Anthony Albanese as opposed to kick out Scott Morrison? Well, we're, we're, we're saying two things. One, this government doesn't deserve to be re-elected. They don't deserve to be rewarded with your vote after all of the failures of the last decade. You know, as Albo said the other day, Australia is the best country in the world, but we deserve a better government. Australians don't kick out governments lightly or often. But I tell you what, they kick them out when they fail them, when they're incompetent, when they've got no plan for the future, when they've run out of puff, or when instead of focusing on you, they're just fighting amongst themselves. And I've got to tell you, this government's the trifecta. It ticks all three of those boxes.